<laughs> so, man, let's start out with the big question. How excited are you about fighting somebody who's more your kind of wheelhouse? She likes to stand and bang, throw kicks, not much of a wrestler. Is this something that you feel could maybe get you not just a win, but win that catapults you into a title shot? <laughs> Quite understanding your question. So, are you happy you're fighting a striker, somebody who you know it's going to be an action packed fight, somebody who's not going to try to wrestle you, hold you to the ground, somebody that if you win, this might be a knockout victory which catapults you to a world title shot? I'm just excited to have a fight at the beginning yeah. of this year, really. Um, I was out all last year because of family issues, so I was happy that Bellator was able to get me started off, you know, with a bang for the beginning of the year. Um, <coughs> If it catapults me to a title shot, cool. If it doesn't, it is what it is. I just want to fight, you know. I, I don't exactly know if it will put me in line for a title shot. I mean, we'll see. Talk about the opportunity to just kind of come back from, you know, bounce back from, from, from a loss your last time out, and sort of what mentality that gives you in a, in a fight camp leading into this. Excuse me? Can you talk about, you know, what you need to do in a fight camp coming into this when you know you have to bounce back and, know you need to get a win. Does that change anything in uh, in your path? Um, not I mean, not immensely. We we I'm tra you know training as well, you know as much as I can, and I'm always in the gym now that things have settled in my family life, um, <clears throat> and I have a lot more freedom to to focus on what I've got to do. Um, and that's a big catalyst as to why I wasn't here last year. But now that um, a lot of things have changed and I've set my feet back, you know, on the right path. Training goes back full war. We always we always look into the opponents that I have in front of me, as well as things that I need to work on, um, and just constant improvements, constant you know educating myself to be a better fighter. So you know, in the end, it, it just you know it makes my camp stronger. It makes my camps my, my fight camps more direct. Um, and it's just about whoever I they put in front of me. You know, we research who they are. We we take note of their tendencies, and obviously. You know, people train to fix their tendencies and, and to gain more knowledge, same as, same as myself. So it just, uh, no, it just, it's just another, you know, another camp that's designed the way we do it. When you, we train hard and, and we look into the people we're, we're going to go up against. When you looked at her, I mean, what are some of the kind of the attributes that you saw that she brings to the table? I, I know you guys have a couple similar opponents from, from past fights. I mean, did you look at those past fights of hers that were similar to the, to the fights that you had? Um... Yes and no, I guess. I mean, we have we both hold a knockout, of course, you know, same exact amount of time over Marina, you know, Marina Shafir, and it's, we're obviously both very heavy hitters, we're both very aggressive fighters, um, and people know that, <laughs> you know, we stylistically, aggressively, we are very much the same, um, and just the people that we've both gone up against, I guess, I don't know how to answer that question exactly, but um, she, you know, Stylistically, we're both just aggressive fighters. We'll go out there and we, we want to do well and we want to learn from our, you know, from our past mistakes of any kind and just put on put on a good fight and, and win. So, yeah. Does that make you want to uh, adjust? Just if you know your styles are similar, does that anything about that make you want to adjust? Maybe, maybe not be as aggressive or try to bait them into a, a mistake. I have been learning overall, just not just through her, but just through any fight that I've had, you know, to not be in such a rush to finish it. Um, that's kind of been something that I've worked on through several camps and other, you know, other fighters, and I feel like I'm growing a lot more um, just in the past several years. So, you know, it's, again, I, you learn your own bad habits and you learn your own tendencies and you, you work on those fight to fight. So fighting her hasn't made me think more about, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that. I've, I've said I'm working on it even prior to, to this fight with her. So I've grown as a fighter. She has grown as a fighter. It's been a little while since we've both been in. So I'm expecting, you know, new things from her as well as you can expect, you know, hopefully new things from myself. So it's just about getting in there and, and drilling and, and training and, and sparring and working those working out those kinks. Amanda, how tough is it sometimes balancing everything in your life? You, as you said, you had some family you should take care of. I'm guessing you work a full-time job. You train on top of this. How do you balance it so that you don't come to either hate one or the other, whether it's family, whether it's fighting, because you just feel pulled, you know, stretched out in too many different places? Well, I couldn't balance it. That's why I wasn't here last year. My mom 
mom had heart surgery um, and other family things that I had to focus on that drained me financially. So I went back to work for it full time, fabricator, I am a welder. So I went back and uh, did that for a little while so I could get myself financially stabilized. And then when, um, you know, I, I was realizing I wasn't as happy without my training and without my, my focus, um, I actually stepped away from that job with the blessing of my, uh, my partner at the, at the time. Um, and I, I, you know, I still find myself being in the gym and, and training and, and doing a lot of uh, wrestling, actually. Um, I was at the high school a lot with uh, the coaches there. And then this year, actually, I spent um, this wrestling season as an assistant coach because Oregon just uh, sanctioned female wrestling, female, uh, wrestling for females. So um, they brought me in kind of to help inspire you know, young girls to, to get on the mats and to be wrestlers. Um, so yeah, again, I stepped away from my job and I found myself out in uh, Vegas for a few weeks. Um, Roxanne Bonferri is a really good friend of mine, so I go to Syndicate and uh, get some side work in there and was helping her with her fight that she had at the time. So, you know, I, I did have to balance things out, you know, working a, a full-time job and trying to do this is, is just not the cards, it's one or the other at this point. So, and I guess for me, um, I'm kind of finding that balance. And even as of right now, I've had some major changes in my in my my personal life that have found me a little displaced. So currently, I'm, yeah, I'm looking for a new I'm looking for a new home. You know, as of right now, so there's a lot going on. But I have the stress and the the the, the situation that I found that I've been finding myself in is actually my coach has always said that I'm the type that when things start to really get rough for me, I I kind of bite down and I work harder to, you know, just the more of a grind I go through, the better I, I perform, you know, the more emotional turmoil I have to face, the, you know, usually the better off I am, it just it depends on really the situation. Last year was just, there was, it required my attention to you know, in other areas than, than this, so you have to pick and choose, but what I'm going through as of right now um, has, I think, has made me focus and want this a lot more than for and I feel like my my direction is, is a lot better these days. Let me ask one follow-up question before I let, I'll then take over. Why do you love fighting so much, Fed? I mean, as you said, you had a job which was steady. This doesn't pay well. You get put through the ringer physically. This is a, a sport where people get seriously hurt, and yet it, talking to you, this seems to be like the happy place, the training, the sparring, the working out. What is it about the sport, Fed? It's almost like a lifestyle more than just a career. I think for me, like, I wasn't given the gift of competition as a kid, you know? I didn't get to be an athlete and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I didn't get to be an athlete and uh, um, compete and do all these things I wanted to do um, when I was younger, so now that, you know, the opportunity was placed in front of me, I, I took it and I, and I ran with it. I never thought we would be pro, so right now, like, the, the platform that I, I came to was, was completely unexpected, really, but, um, for me, it's it's kind of come full circle where it's like you know, only so many people have this available to them. Only so many people are willing to do it. For as far as I've had, and I'm somewhere where a lot of people would love to be. So I, you know, I have to appreciate that and take it seriously. And it's just like any other job. You can be working a nine to five and loving it and hating it at the same time. And we're here training and having to go through the rigor of, of things we have to do. Media weigh-ins, you know, like you said, potential of this and that. And there, there's a love and there's a hate to it, you know. It's, uh, it's you have your moments of glory and it feels great, and you have your moments of dread. Oh yeah. So you know, I look at it as just anything else in life. You, you go through your obstacles and you have your experiences, and it's a story to tell when you get older. I mean, you mentioned that you've been in the gym, you've been in the wrestling room. It's not the same as fighting. You haven't fought in 18 months. Any worry about ring rust? No, actually, I feel more focused and less nervous than I ever have before. I don't know if I'm growing as a person or if the, you the you know, the catalyst of part of my life is that right now has given me the, the strength to focus, but I feel, I feel good, you know, and as well as like last year they were trying to get this, um, last year they were trying to get this fight paired up before actually, so I knew coming back my opponent was going to be um, around the same time actually, so um, I'm not too worried about ring rust. Um, there's a couple other ones. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I can't really explain it, but I'm not. Considering the changes in my life and the pain that I've recently gone through, there's just really nothing 
that just stressed me out more than whatever. Uh, the champion, Julia Budd, she has kind of faced a lot of people in the division. Uh, you and your opponent, she hasn't faced yet. I mean, I know you said you're not even thinking about a title fight, but do you, does this feel like a title eliminator match? I really don't know. <laughs> um, I guess it is. You know, I just I kind of feel like there might be another fight in my path before that can happen. But who knows? I really don't know. I'm just I'm not trying to skip ahead and lose my focus. I'm just right here. This is where I'm at. This is what's gonna happen. We'll find out when the fight's over. Oh yeah, I mean I know the full.